Hi, welcome to Minutes Education. Today, we are going to talk about nociceptors, with our focus on A-delta fibres and C-fibres. Nociceptors are afferent nerve endings that respond to pain stimuli and they signal injury. When these nociceptors are activated by a harmful stimulus, they send electrical signals through nerve fibres to the spinal cord and brain, where the sensation of pain is ultimately perceived. These signals are carried by two main types of fibres, A-delta fibres and C-fibres. Let's talk about A-delta fibres first. A-delta fibres are thin, myelinated nerve fibres. Because they are myelinated, they conduct signals relatively quickly, at speeds of about 5 to 30 metres per second. This rapid conduction allows A-delta fibres to transmit sharp, acute and well-localised pain often described as a fast pain. A-delta signals go to motor and sensory areas in the brain. This suggests that these signals receive special attention so that we can respond to them quickly. For example, when you accidentally touch a hot stove, the initial sharp pain you feel is transmitted by A-delta fibres. This immediate response is crucial for reflexive actions, such as quickly withdrawing your hand to avoid further injury. In contrast, C fibres are thin, unmyelinated nerve fibres. Since they lack a myelin sheath, their conduction speed is much slower, around 0.5 to 2 metres per second. C fibres are responsible for transmitting dull, throbbing, and diffuse pain, often referred to as slow pain. C fibres' signals terminate mainly in the brainstem and forebrain with their remaining impulses connecting with a diffuse network of neurons. This type of pain is what you might experience after the initial sharp pain subsides, such as the lingering ache after burning your hand. The signals transmitted by C fibres are also associated with chronic pain conditions, where the pain persists over a longer period.